TV. And here to give us a bit of a preview is John Arbin, one of the hosts and founders of the show. Good morning, John. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You know, you're, you're a teacher. Normally you're here and you're doing this in the studio with us, but because of your busy schedule, all of a sudden, if you're not hunting, you're probably teaching, right? That's right. I'm thankful my boss was nice enough to let me sneak away for a few minutes to do this, but uh, it's been a busy year. I'll bet. All right, this is season number 20. Going back 20 years ago, did you ever think uh, that you guys would get this far with this program when it first started? No, absolutely not. When we when we first started this program, it was pretty much um, this kind of a shot in the dark. We didn't know what we were doing. We didn't know anything about <laughs> editing. We didn't know anything about cameras. And if we made it a year, we would have been excited. And it's been 20 years now, so it's been a heck of a ride for us. Okay, Kurt Chirato, Jason Wright, and you. You start this program, and we're going to get into the current stuff here in a bit. But you start this program 20 years ago, and like you say, you didn't know much about the technology or anything like that as far as camera equipment. What made you think that this was something that the public would be interested in? Well, I, I think it was just because people had approached us when we were doing some of the stuff on, um, you know, back then it was the uh, websites and doing little tips and tricks. And people said, hey, we had a pretty good presence on camera. So we figured we loved to hunt and fish and we wanted to share it with others. And, you know, the great thing about North Dakota is they really wrap their arms around people that are from the community that represent the community. And I think that's why we've done so well is that we're local guys that are no different than anybody else. And people really like to see the local people doing well. Yeah, you know, like with any relationship, and that's what you and, and, and Kurt and Jason have. You have a relationship and you guys have built this thing together. How do you decide who's gonna work on what or who's gonna do this particular hunt or who go on this fishing trip? How do you guys work that out? Well, I think, the reason we've been successful is that we don't have cameramen. We do this all ourselves mm -hmm. and we don't care whether I hunt or Kurt hunts. Um, we put in for tags, whoever draws tags, we take turns and we um, take turns running the camera and everybody's been unselfish and that's why it's worked because a lot of guys want to do this, but yeah. can't afford a cameraman like us, but no one wants to be the guy running the camera. Everybody wants to be the hunter, and we've never had that problem. Yeah, so you guys take turns. You may be doing the, the camera one time, and, and Kurt or Jason may be doing it another time. How do you guys decide as to who goes where and does what? Well, we just, we kind of just, um, each year we put in for our hunts. We go on antelope hunts, bear hunts, and it depends on everybody's schedules. Um, sometimes they don't all work out, so whoever's schedule works out, then we just put in for tags. And if I hunted bear last year, then maybe Jason will hunt it this year. And we usually put in for um, the same tags each year and we just kind of rotate. Yeah, you guys all have full-time jobs. How do you squeeze it all in? Is that what summer's all about for you guys? You know, for, for me it is. And I guess it's all worked out because I'm the guy that does most of the work with the, the editing. Jason and Kurt aren't the editors. They love to fish. So they spend a lot of time on the, the water in the summertime. And it allows me to do the deer stuff. I do a lot of work down at the ranch, getting ready for deer season. I do a lot of my editing right now. You know, when we talk about our shows coming up in a couple of weeks and I got only like three shows edited. So I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I bet. All right, we, we had invited you onto the program here a few weeks ago, but you were busy hunting in Montana. What was it that you were after? Or don't we want to give anything away here? No, we were actually, um, we went to Wyoming first and we had our first, we kind of kick off the season in um, August and we went antelope hunting and we had okay. a great hunt. Um, Jason and I went along with a couple of friends and we ended up um, shooting four out of five antelope that we filled our tags on. So we have a great show with that one coming up. Um, it's probably gonna be one of our first shows. Okay, now you premiere on October 8th. You can watch it here on this NBC station. You can also watch it on, on the local Fox stations. Can you give us, have you, have you decided what the first show is going to entail? And if so, if you can let us know what we're going to be, what we're going to be seeing. Well, I'm deciding whether it's going to be our bear hunt. Shelby and I went on a bear hunt this um, spring up to Canada. We finally got to get across the border again. And um, it's either going to be the bear hunt or the antelope shows. I'm just not sure. I guess whichever one I get done first. Okay. Now, you mentioned Shelby. That's your daughter. She's been involved for a few years now. Tell me about that. How is that working? Is she getting more involved in the program? And and is her interest continue to grow in, in being a part of this? Um, yes. You know, the, the one 
kicker to this is as kids get older, they move away from home mm-hmm. and she moved away. She's down in South Dakota right now. So she's a resident of South Dakota and she's filming with her boyfriend down there. And um, she comes back on an, a regular basis to hunt with me and actually is getting flown out um, on Wednesday to go do some filming with Berkeley for some fishing products. So she's kind of expanding outside of our realm and doing some other things in the outdoor industry. So I'm pretty proud of her. Yeah, and she's been fantastic in the program since you've had her involved. Do you guys ever run out of ideas or do you always have something new that's out there on the horizon that you're going, boy, I can't wait to try this? Well, I think with hunting, the great thing about hunting and fishing is every time you go out, you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. You don't know if it's going to be a world-class deer stepping in front of you. You don't know mm-hmm. if it's going to be a thunderstorm coming through. So um, when we go out there, I think that's why people don't get tired of it because it's not the same thing every time. Uh, Mother Nature, the animals, they none of them read the script very well. So you never know what you're going to get. And Sometimes they're great hunts and things kind of fall in line. And other times it's a struggle. So, Yeah. Well, John, time is short. It premieres on October 8th, not only on this channel, but also on your Fox station. Tell us uh, if anybody else has any other information. You, there are a lot of social media places and, and websites that people can find you. Yes, we, we, I try to throw everything up on YouTube. We do some stuff on Roku, uh, on a streaming service there. So uh, Facebook, I try to get things up on. So if you ever want to get a hold of us, just contact us. If you have any questions about hunting and fishing, we're always there to answer them and help out. Perfect. John, thank you so much for taking the time today, and good luck in Season 20. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, we're taking a break. Heidi's going to take a look at our seven-day forecast when we come back.